following production of the Bank Cartoon Radio Hour contains fictional material used strictly for satirical and comedic purposes, and it should not be accepted as being factual, and all voices are impersonated. Welcome! You! Bang Cartoon Radio. It's huge when it comes to learning a new guy's rear end. Oh, put stop it! I know what, the National what, Football League. What, 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 please? Sometimes they arrive and they smell like sex. That's how we do it. Bang Cartoon Look here, things need to be done around here. A lot of people have picked us to put in on seat, and rightfully so. Welcome to the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. I did my job! I showed up! I, I know. And now, here's John and Tom. I know, yeah. the world trade but true the cards have done it they're going to super bowl 43 (laughs) 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 come on dad david the arizona cardinals are going to their first super bowl yes unbelievable you know what this means tom the menace was gone the whole world could wake up and live again. Yes, that's what it means. It means I have the, I have a shot at screwing Jessica Alba. Anything can happen. Oh, is that right? Yeah, anything officially can now happen. Well, there you go. Even a black guy could be president. Oh, wait I'm a minute. Damn it, that already happened. Yes. What has happened here was caused by a force which, up until a few days ago, was entirely beyond the scope of man's imagination. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes. It's called the Kurt Warner effect. The Larry Fitzgerald effect. Shit. When nobody else believed in us, when nobody else believed in me, you guys did, and we're going to the Super Bowl! <laughs> you know, I, I'm glad to see he at least took a minute out of pr- thanking Jesus to tell everybody in Arizona thanks a lot. Oh, well, you know. I mean, he's the most religious man in the league, maybe in all of sports. Well, now that Tony Dungy retired. But, uh, yeah, man, I'll tell you what. Uh, Kurt Warner Hall of Famer for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know a lot of people were arguing against it a couple of years ago, but man, this ices it. Even if he loses, he's, this ices it. All praise be to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. Um, there were some funky plays in that game. Yeah. There were some real funky plays in that game. However, I, I got to say, dude, the fact that they beat the Eagles in the championship game, you Philly fans, you Philly fans, you lost to the Cardinals. I mean, I know they're pretty good right now, but this is the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> but they have God on their side. Big ups to God. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about all that stuff. Um, how about that? How, what, but how about that Cardinals radio announcer? Oh, man. Was that him? Was I thought that? that was you doing that. No, it, listen. <laughs> That wasn't me. That was the radio. <laughs> oh, hell. I, I heard that on a porn video the other day. That's right. Man, oh, man. That's, that's right. something. Well, here's, uh, here are some Eagles fans telling you how it hurts. Or not fans, but players, coach. I was going to say, the fans so should be forth, used to te- it. Telling you how it hurts here. It just hurts, period. Right now, that hurts. You know, when you, uh, when you burn your hand, I don't care how you burn it, it still hurts. It's always tough when you get this close. Yeah, I'm hurting for all the guys. I mean, they, man, they're hurting. It still just it just hurts. You know, it's tough. They all hurt. They hurt the players, coaches. You know, it's really tough. Nobody feels good about that. Now, on the flip side, the Cardinals. I'm just so happy, and uh, you know, we're needless to say, very thrilled. It just feels great to be able to be in this position. I'm thrilled to death, to say the least. And we're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's like the goal, goal guy. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, man, that's pretty damn funny. Oh, uh, it's poor Eagles. Stuff. You know what's funny is Donovan McNabb saying, it hurts every time. Or what did he say? It always hurts when you get this close. I guess yeah. nobody knows better than you, do they? Right, no. right. 
And I know a lot of Eagles fans are pissed off because they've already said that both him and Reed are coming back next year. And they're pissed off about it. <sighs> well, like like I said, I I wish McNabb would go away. I'd be happy if he goes away. Yeah, send him to the AFC West. Kansas City needs a quarterback. Ding dong, the witch is dead in Arizona. Oh, my God, those radio guys were great. <laughs> well, you know what really happened to the witch in Arizona, Tom? Andy Reid fell down and landed on her. Is that what it was? Yes. Somebody took her red shoes off, and you watch those red and white socks curl up under his gigantic navel. Dude, that guy's got to be 400 pounds, man. You know that... Uh... You know Donovan has a home in Arizona. I know, and uh, it was funny because these guys have been arrested. These these Cardinal fans got arrested and charged with vandalizing his uh, his home. And uh, you know he was staying there, and it's in uh, it's in Chandler uh, before the game last week. And you know fans hung a flag in his tree, mm-hmm. and he laughed that off. They left a box in his driveway that said "Go Cards." It also said "Beat Philly" written on the sides of it. He laughed that off, right? But Two guys took diesel fuel and burned into his lawn. Go cards, go Kurt. I love AZ. <laughs> That's a little much. <laughs> he said, yeah, that crossed the line. That's so. a little much. But you know what? I'll tell you what. You know what I read when I read that story, what I thought when I read that story? And this is going to sound so strange, but you know what? I'm glad nobody put any racial epithets on his lawn because when I saw McNabb's house vandalized, that's what I expected. Right. And, you know... I guess it shows us in some sort of semblance of progress that these two white clowns didn't even think to do that. And I think well, that's, that's a good thing. Because I, I just heard Michael Savage called Barack Obama a uh, creature. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, the, a creature. The hatred is flowing, ain't it? There's two. There's, there's the extremes. You've got the unbelievable hatred and whining going on, and you've got the unbelievable hero worship going on. It's just, come on. Oh, yeah. Can we get some centers oh, yeah. here? Can we get some center here? But we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, we're going to get into that for sure. Um, I think right now we should go on a field trip. Let's go on a Bang Cartoon field trip. Time for a field trip. Let's go on a Bang Cartoon field trip. And now a field trip. And everybody needs to go to YouTube. Right, you know, you, you should be getting used to this by now. Yeah, let me pop how we up. do this. All right, let me go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. All right, I gotta take and in the search bar, are you there? Yep. Go ahead. All right, in the search bar, type in Jeff Lurie. L-U-R-I-E. He's the uh, owner of the Philadelphia Eagles, if anybody didn't know that. Jeff Lurie. And the first thing you're going to see is Eagles owner Jeff Lurie high-fives his wife's face. <laughs> I have seen and you need to click on that. All right, here we go. we got a here touchdown go. here by uh, Tom Selleck. Yeah. yeah. Tom Selleck. Isn't it Brian Selleck? Here we go. Here we go. Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bam. Here we go again. I keep showing it. That's great. Boom, yeah, and he doesn't again. even look twice. <laughs> and he's smiling. Look at that head I put on She just backs up where she's supposed to be. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, is it on here? Yeah. Okay. You know, it, it gives you uh, relatable stories over on the right. Uh-huh. Okay. One, two, three, four. The fifth one down says Cowboys girl fighting at Eagles game. <laughs> okay. Click on that one. <laughs> we get a, two field trips. Yeah. <laughs> there she comes. <laughs> Get your fucking hands off of me. <laughs> they fight you. They fight you. That one security guard goes, this is a Christian stadium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's so drunk. She's got a Demarcus Ware jersey on. That's a good choice. Oh man, that's great that's stuff. Ridiculous. This is a Christian stadium. We have Jeff Lurie beating his wife, and then now we have this <laughs> women getting in fights down here. Uh, Damn, sounds like a fun place to go. Maybe at halftime they throw a few Christians to the Lions. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bang Cartoon Field Trip. Field Trip. Bang Cartoon Field Trip. Field Trip. Oh, hell. So a double field trip today. That's cool. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I like that Jeff Lurie smacks his wife in the face. Because look at him do it again, man. He doesn't even look twice. He smacks her in the no. face and turns right I around. Know. Hey, man. I great know. touchdown. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, I was in the chat room uh, after the Eagles beat the or lost to the Cardinals. Uh-huh. 
And uh, there was a Cardinal fan in there. I didn't know they existed, but there was a Cardinal fan in there. They're all bandwagon and, uh, fans. And Tar Heel too. was in there, too. Tar Heel, too? Tar Heel and this Cardinal fan. Okay. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh this is... You know, if we'd have had the Cardinals and Ravens, it would be an all-bandwagon Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. The bandwagon bowl. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, this this Cardinal fan was in... Uh, there's there were, there were two NFL rooms open. There was NFL 1 and NFL 2. 